Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Rashida and I'm a stay at home, work from home mom of four beautiful children. We have Giselle who is eight, Malachi is five, and this year is three. And Naomi is currently a year old. And here on this channel, we like to provide you with all types of motivation. We have cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, mommy motivation, just realistic motivation to help you get you through your day, week, month, and year. So if that is something that you're interested in, please consider joining our family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you won't miss an upload. All right, you guys. So I am just waking up. It is the weekend. We had plans with the kids to go to this big park um it is so nasty outside and i'll show you here in a minute so we have to change directions so the first thing that i'm going to do because we're still going to have a good time regardless the kids are a little bit disappointed but i totally understand why but can't control the weather and it's supposed to be thunderstorming like all day long so the park is out of question so we are going to do something in the house but the first thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and get dressed. So just give me a second and I will be right back. rolled up the sleeves a little bit and it said this job is bullshit love it thought it was hilarious and i just have on some jean shorts and just some regular sneakers um like i said i just want it to be real comfortable the shirt is from fashion nova these shorts couldn't even tell you where i got them from because i've had them for years and then the shoes are um new balance and i got them from dsw um, i'm not wearing any jewelry today but the scent that i am wearing is powdery tobacco by dossier and um i just wanted a bold scent for today because like i said a real basic outfit no jewelry but i wanted a bold scent and powdery tobacco is basically inspired by tom ford um tobacco vanilla if you guys have no idea um what dossier is let me go ahead and explain to you before we even get started. If you guys are unfamiliar with Dossier, it is a luxury inspired perfume brand. Their motto is luxury scents at an affordable price. Their scents are inspired by Tom Ford, Creed, Le Labo, um, Gucci, Chanel, just about any designer fragrance that you can think of, Tom Ford. So just about any designer fragrance that you can think of, Dossier does have an inspired scent for it. So instead of paying 100, 200, 300 and up for these scents, Dossier has them for 29, 39, 49, $59. And of course, they do have an ongoing special to where the more you buy, the more you save. They do offer women perfume, men's cologne, and of course, unisex scents as well. The good thing about Dossier is that even though it is an online company, if you would like to try a scent, you get it and don't like it, they do offer full refunds. And not only that, their packaging is eco-friendly and then all their perfumes are cruelty-free and it doesn't have all that unnecessary chemicals and stuff like that inside of it. These scents make excellent gifts for whatever occasion, so go ahead and check out Dossier. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let me just go ahead and tell you the plans for today. So today is really nasty and groomy outside, which is why I'm in the bathroom right now talking to you because it's really dark outside and I didn't feel like pulling out lights and stuff like that. So the original plan was for um, us to take the kids 
to the park but like i said it's really nasty thunderstorms gonna be all day long but they were so they were so looking forward to going to the park and i kind of felt bad that we couldn't go so i'm going to try to make the best of it by doing something indoors so i am going to be hosting a movie night for the kids um, we have a lot to do to prepare because, like I said, this is last minute. This rain came out of nowhere, and it's not going to let up. It's going to be like this all day. So, like I said, I am going to be hosting a movie night. The kids are going to pick the movie, but we'll do that later. But we have a lot to do in order to prepare for this movie night. One, I need to go to the grocery store to get, like, um, snacks and dinner and, you know, just in easy finger foods. And I want to attempt to make a like movie night charcuterie board. Um, so first time, don't know what I'm doing yet, but I know I need to go and get candy and stuff for that. So grocery store, I need to come back and I need to clean. I need to clean at least the kitchen and the family room because the kitchen one, the kitchen needs to be clean. <laughs> And to the family room because that is where we are going to be watching the actual movie. So those two places in particular really need to be clean. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to do um, more areas, but we're going to tackle those two for sure. Um, and then I need to figure out what we're going to do for dinner. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and head to the store because it looks like there's a break in the rain right now. I mean, I am going by myself. The kids are staying here just because how the weather is I don't want them in and out of the rain and cold and stuff like that so I'm going to be going by myself and since it looks like it's a break I want to just hurry up and run to Walmart to pick up like snacks and stuff like that um there's a couple of more things that I need to I'm not sure if I'm going to pick them up today or pick them up later but that's besides the point we need to go to Walmart <laughs> so let's go ahead and um head to Walmart I'm going to take you with me so you can just see what um, type of things that I'm going to get. Now we are at Walmart. I'm just going to go ahead and give you a heads up. My Walmart that's closest to me, it is not the best at all. It's always unorganized. The shelves are not stocked. And if they are stocked, they're not stocked correctly. Um, stuff is missing, stuff in the wrong place. But so you really have to dig through and find things that you actually want. So we are in the candy aisle and basically I'm just going to be going through and taking a mental note first of what they actually have and then I'll be making my decision on what to get after I see what's actually in stock because as you can see it's a lot of empty boxes here. All right, you guys, so I got everything that I needed to get. Excuse my hair. It is like extremely windy out here and the wind trying to play me. So um, I feel like I just left Target. I feel like I just left Target because don't you know how you go into Target for one thing and um, you come out with a lot more. So I literally went to Walmart to get the candy for the candy charcuterie board that I want to attempt to make. <coughs> And end up spending like two hundred dollars. So <laughs> I'll just do a haul of everything that I got um, when we get home. But I did pick up some stuff that I just needed for like the kids in the household and stuff like that. But I think I spent like at least a hundred dollars on stuff for this movie night. Cause what? Cause I what I get? I'll just show you guys what I got when um, I get home. Because when we get home, I need to um, clean up. And yeah, let me hurry up before the rain come back. Right now it's sunny. And yeah, let's just go. All right, back home. Let me show you just some of the stuff that I got. I went and got everybody pajamas for movie night. So they got um, a new pajamas. So this is Naomi's. Um, it is. It came with two sets, and I think it was fifteen dollars. But I couldn't find single sets for her, and I didn't want onesies. I want like big girl pajamas. So I got this cute little um, shirt 
with the shorts and then it also has this set she probably gonna wear it at this set tonight it comes with the little um pants then <clears throat> giselle's pajamas of course it's just a gown and it's a unicorn real cute and it kind of in the same color family as her sisters hold on let me put the light on oh that did nothing but anyways in this bag i just have some hot dogs and hot dog buns because i think i want to do i know i wanted to do hot dogs for dinner but i think i want to do like a hot dog bar i don't know i don't i don't think i have every single thing for a hot dog bar and i'm not going back to walmart because it was crowded so we're just gonna make do what we have it's not a necessity but so then picked up some um shower caps because we ran out mommy let's see and then the boys got matching um pajamas it's mario it comes with the shirt and the shorts and that one is malachi's and then like i said they got matching so it's the same thing that is nasir's and these were 7.98 baby girls two piece set not two piece two pajama set was 15.98 i believe and then giselle's was 7 um 98 and i just picked up vitamins for me and then here is what I got as far as for the candy charcuterie board. I have Sour Patch Bites. We have Skitt Sour Skittles. We have Colorful... Mommy! We have Colorful uh, Twizzlers. You coming for it already. I see you. We have Reese's miniature cups and then we have um m and minis mommy that's the one you want what's this what's this there you go okay that's the one you want to eat mommy yeah you want to eat that <laughs> I do I did pick up a couple more things in the kitchen so let me show you that real quick and then we gonna get into cleaning also picked up Nasir's milk you know I bought his milk monthly and then I picked up another pack of Pampers okay and then I picked up just some milk because we were running out we got the almond milk original and vanilla and then the last thing I picked up for tonight's smoothie night is these Mike's hard lemonade this is the strawberry one and that is all that i picked up okay so now i showed you everything i got before i start cleaning up i'm actually going to throw the um pajamas in the in the wash so they will be ready for tonight but of course i have to take all of these tags off oh my hair is a mess so that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to just take all this stuff, throw it in a wash, and then we will start on cleaning. The only places that I'm going to be cleaning is the kitchen. One, because I'm going to be working in there. And two is the family room, because that's where we're going to be watching the movie. So get those two places cleaned up and um chill until it's movie time
we are starting our cleaning today in the kitchen it is not a mess but we still need it to clean up from breakfast because like i said i started very early and i just ran out and went to the store without picking up anything so right now we are just going to be taking care of that
now we are in the family room or living room whichever you would like to call it and this is typically like an everyday mess this isn't too bad but of course we have laundry <laughs> i had just finished folding all the laundry from this week this is the weekend so i already did my laundry it's folded and now i just gotta eventually get around to picking um putting it actually up so once i get the laundry up out the way i'm just gonna go ahead and pick up random stuff that's just all over the floor from the kids and again here we have more laundry but i'm just gonna be cleaning up and tidying up this space for the kids The next thing that I'm going to be doing is actually moving the glass coffee table and the reason why I'm moving it is because the kids instead of laying on the couch they do like to bring their comforters and their pillows down and just make like a little fort on the floor not a fort but um, what is it? a sleeping bag <laughs> on the floor so I want to make sure that they have enough room to spread out and be comfortable. Now I'm just going to be wiping down the TV with some glass cleaner because I want to make sure that the TV is fingerprint free, which it should be because it is mounted on the fireplace. But you guys will be surprised at how much stuff is actually out of the kids reach in this I still find fingerprint. So I'm just going to make sure that this is nice and clear for movie night. Again, I'm just taking some glass cleaner and a paper towel and wiping it down.
right, so now I'm going to attempt to make the snack um, charcuterie board. So I have the candy that we got from Walmart. I have these little wafer bites, some chocolate chip cookies, and I just popped a bag of popcorn. I'm gonna pop some more, but this is just for the charcuterie board. Then I'm gonna get some regular bowls. I have this little small bowl, and then I have these plates. So I'm just trying to work with what I have because I didn't go out and buy anything extra. Um, but I do have like regular bowls that I can use as well that are clean. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna do this together. It's my first time doing this. So it's a learning process, but let's just play around with everything. gotta wait so this is the final product um, I'm very happy with how everything came out especially for my first time so basically what we have is we have some wafer cookies the yeah. sour patch M&Ms yeah. cookies more wafers licorice sour skittles Reese's yeah. pieces yeah. some more um, licorice yeah. wafers sour skittles popcorn more licorice licorice yeah. sour gummies and yeah that is it so now we are going to um okay so let me tell you hold on okay so remember how i told you we were gonna have hot dogs i even picked up hot dogs and buns and i said we might even do like a hot dog a bar scratch it <laughs> just scratch it um basically why does this look so dirty i don't count it money um, okay, so we're scratching the hot dog bar. We're scratching the hot bar, hot, hot dog bar. Because uh, when I was looking for the stuff to actually do the bar, the only thing we have is ketchup and relish. I wanted to do the whole thing, like cut some onions, some sauerkraut, um, at least have mustard. We don't even have mustard. I want to do um, chili and cheese and just go all out. We don't have it. So that kind of like 
dampen my spirits a little bit as far as the hot dog goes. So now I don't even want to cook the hot dogs, so we're not cooking hot dogs. So I ordered some a party platter, party platter from a restaurant that's close to here, and basically is shrimp fries. Um, chicken and fish so that's what we're gonna have um, for dinner and I'll show you that once it gets here and other than that I'm we're just gonna chill um, I'm probably gonna set up the or figure out what movie we're going to actually watch and then um, get the kids on in their pajamas because it's done now and just enjoy the rest of the night honestly but i'll come back and check back in once the food is here and the kids are in their pajamas so here on the menu we have some fried whiting some fried shrimp and some uh, chicken wings the drums and the flats we also have some coleslaw hush puppies crab cakes um, french fries fried okra um, some clams and then some fried scallops. So that was the menu for movie night. All right, everybody's ready for movie night. We have our what you throwing up? We have our pajamas on, so we have the girls, and then we have the boys. Cute, cute. We ready? Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. Um, last night I was just so tired. The movie that the kids picked, which was really shocking to me, was um, Harry Potter, the very first one. So, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you know that these movies are long. So, the movie was like two and a half hours, and afterwards, I was completely done tired so i didn't get to like close out the vlog but yesterday was a good day even though we had to change up our plans for the day it was a good day and i enjoyed it um, so yeah i just wanted to come up and just close it out again i really you want to say something yeah <laughs> I really appreciate you guys coming and watching my videos. If you want to check out Dossier, there is a link in my bio for you. <laughs> As always, again, I appreciate you guys. And I will see you in my next one.